Hey, this is Ellie from the Maxon Training Team. And in this Redshift Quick Tip, I want to show you how you can add surface imperfections like scratches or smudges to your Redshift materials. Here I've got my shader ball with a standard Redshift material applied to it. I've already set up some base properties for a plastic material, but it's not looking very interesting. So let's add some surface imperfections to make it look great. You may already have your own textures to use, but if not, Cinema 4D's asset browser is full of a wide range of imperfection maps. Just go to media, texture, then imperfections, or search for a keyword like smudges. Find the one you want, drag and drop your texture into the node editor, and now we're ready to use it on our material. These surface imperfections can be used for a variety of inputs, roughness, metalness, bump, and more. If we solo this node, we can see how it's projecting onto our model and fix this if necessary using a triplanar or remapping options. So what is this texture map doing? Well, the areas that are 100% black translate to a value of zero, and the areas that are 100% white are a value of one, and the gray areas are values between zero and one. This means if we connect our smudge map into our material roughness input, we're getting no roughness where the black parts are, varied roughness where the gray parts are, and full roughness where the white parts are, creating a more interesting looking material. We can take this a step further by introducing a ramp node in between our imperfection texture and our material, and use this to tweak our values using the black and white knots in the ramp. More black will mean less roughness, and more white will mean more roughness. Don't forget you can use surface imperfections in a variety of inputs. Here's another example using a scratch map to create bump. Thanks for watching. If you like these quick tips, please like and subscribe.